so my name is Heather from Pork in the Loaf and today I'm going to start a series on my lunches. I have um, put myself a little bit on kind of like, I hate to call it keto, but it is keto diet. I'm doing, uh, I've got some health issues and I really want to kind of improve those. So I'm going to make myself a lunch for tomorrow. It's my first day back to work tomorrow. I'm kind of excited. And so, um, and I'm doing a different position at the elementary school that I work at. So um, to start my lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and point you down and show you what I'm doing. And I will be right back with you. So um, I'm gonna do myself a BLT club or a club, club wrap. And I try to keep about six carbs per meal. And I try, I'm doing a little bit of the intermittent fasting as well. Um, and so for lunch, I'm not gonna have a breakfast at all. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, lunch. I'm gonna do this three grams net carb, carb balance, mission spinach and herb wrap. Um, and like my husband's lunches, I try to do less processed and more whole. However, I'm a realistic, I'm realistic as well. I know that not everything can be done from scratch. Um, I don't have a big farm where I can grow all of my food and do everything from scratch. So I do the best that I can with what I have. Um, I did make myself some mayonnaise and I used a little bit of avocado oil. Um, I do have my own chickens and I do make my own, I make my mayonnaise with my chickens. And I'm going to add some mayonnaise to this. It's an avocado oil based mayonnaise. My husband really likes this, like Best Foods or um, Hellman's I think is the same brand. Anyway, he really likes that but it's a soy and I'm really not supposed to have a whole lot of soy. I have... Monterey Jack I'm gonna throw on here. This is some brined turkey thigh that I made in the crock pot the other day. So uh, normally you would use like a deli turkey, but that... it is so good. I love brined turkey. And then I'm gonna add some bacon. I'm gonna put three pieces on there. And so far, all together, this is probably about the three carbs the mayonnaise doesn't have any carb in it. The turkey doesn't have a whole lot of carb and the bacon doesn't have a whole lot of carb. And then I'm gonna add some lettuce to it. So I'm gonna put two, I'm gonna put a lot of lettuce because I really want that, um, the vegetable content. And then I have some turkey, some tomato that we grew that I chopped up yesterday, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this on here as well. <laughs> so if I can wrap that. If not, I might be having a taco. <laughs> so that is going to be my wrap. It's a big wrap. Because I really want it to try to stay together, if I move it around a lot or if I put it in a baggie, it's probably not going to hold together. So I'm going to just do a slight There's my wrap. Oh, I forgot avocado. Well, I will bring some avocado and eat avocado on the side and I'm hoping this will fit in here. I'm gonna put it in seam side down or seam side somewhere. Maybe like this. Okay. Uh, the struggle is real. Oh, I got it in. Okay, so that will be my main course. And that there's, I'm guessing a, probably with a tomato in it, four or five carbs. So I still have a carb that I could use. And I think I will bring a half of an avocado to be, to go with that. So I get the healthy fats and the healthy vegetables, um, extra healthy vegetable, I'm gonna put that away. So I think um, with the, the cl turkey club, turkey bacon club wrap. I think with a half an avocado, and then I'm probably gonna need something for a snack later on sometime between probably noon and three or four when I get off work uh, before dinner at about six o'clock. And I think what I will do for that is take some, probably some nuts. For my health issues that I'm dealing with, um, they recommend taking, you know, eating so many macadamia nuts, so many pistachio nuts, so many, um, 
I'm just gonna fill this jar up. And so many of these Brazil nuts, which are high in selenium. So I'm gonna take just a combination of all of those things. And I only eat about three or four Brazil nuts and I'll eat about five to 10 macadamia nuts. And then just probably a tablespoon or two of the pistachio nuts. And then, um, so I will take this and I will just leave it at work in my drawer and I will have this to snack on, uh, just keeping it to a bare minimum. So that's it, that's all I'm gonna take with me for my lunch tomorrow. Um, I'll probably take some water. I do have a water bottle. Here's my water bottle. I do have a water bottle, so I will take my water bottle um, and I will take this for a snack and this to eat and that's it. Um, when I get home, we'll have dinner and I'll put it in a spot in the fridge and I'll leave these out and fill this before I leave and that is it. So I will see you tomorrow for day two. Okay, so today is day two a week one for my lunches and I got to work today and found out I was doing 10 hour shifts. We're doing four tens right now. So, and my dogs are playing so you're gonna hear a lot of noise in the background, sorry. Um, and so I kind of didn't have enough food. I did, I, I made it, but it was, I was kind of hungry by the end of the day. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I just went and raided my garden and I don't know if you guys know what ground cherries are. They're supposed to kind of look like, I got a few green ones too, but I love them. So my ground cherries are finally starting to ripen. And this might be a little too big, but I got a couple little smaller okra in here, which I love okra. So I'm gonna take that for a little bit of a snack. And then I have, if I can put this back on here. In here I've got some broccoli and some leftover dinner from last night, which is just pork. It's kind of like a carnita mix. And then I threw some cheese on there. I'm just gonna eat it just like that. And that's kind of a lot, but I'll eat what I can and whatever I can't will stay in the fridge. Um, this is some, I make a raw milk, a raw milk grass fed A2 kefir. And so this is about uh, not quite a cup of raw kefir. And then here's some raspberry powder that I did last summer, which I need to get more of. I need to get some more raspberries. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of it in here with this. And then I have these stevia sweet vanilla drops, which I'm just gonna add some of this to that. Um, I, I can drink it plain. I don't like it plain. I prefer it flavored a little bit. And this I feel is still, you know, keeping within the healthy nutrient, nutrient dense part of it. So by morning, this will be nice and raspberry. And I got my main course and a snack and that should be my lunch for tomorrow. I also have a water bottle that I'll take with me and that will be my lunch for tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow for, actually I don't have Friday, so I, that's gonna be a two week interval. So I will be back next week to finish off this. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Okay, so today is day three of my lunches. And I made some, I just took some chicken breast and I threw it in my Instant Pot. It was totally frozen solid. And then I just added some of this Primal Kitchen organic Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. It's pretty good. It does have a slight kick to it. So if you don't like any spice at all, you won't like that. To me, it's kind of, to me, it's about as hot as red pe um, black pepper. Um, I am going to use one of these Carb Balance Sun-Dried Tomato Basil wraps. Okay, so on my sun-dried tomato, I'm gonna throw some cheese. And I'm gonna keep this kind of wrap style, so I don't wanna get too much on it, but I want, um, I've got some of the spinach that's pre-washed, which I like, that ease. And then I'm gonna take some of this chicken. And I'm going to wrap it tight. I'm gonna fold in the ends and wrap it tight. So I'm gonna just keep this whole. I don't 
really want to cut it and I'm going to set it in here and it will as it sits in the fridge it's gonna get um, stickier to or it'll start sticking to itself all right and then I will be back with what I'm gonna do for the rest of my lunch and I have a 10 hour shift but I don't eat breakfast so this will be the bulk of my lunch and then I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna make a chaffle like that there's a peanut butter cup chaffle that's going around. I'm gonna make one of those for my snack for tomorrow. So um, I'm waiting for these to heat up. I'm gonna gather the ingredients and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so the recipe that I'm following is from buttertogetherkitchen.com, I believe. And it's called the Keto Peanut Butter Cup Chaffle and it's so good. So, first thing that I need to do is make the chaffle. So I've got my, I've got these mini dash, which they're a mess right now because we use them. But I've got these hot. And so in here, I'm gonna add an egg, fresh from my chickens. I'm gonna add, um, it says a heat teaspoon of heavy cream yet first, right now, but I'm gonna go straight to the dry first because, um, I don't want to have to have two tablespoons. It calls for a tablespoon of a powdered sweetener. I do have a powdered sweetener. I could use that. I also have stevia drops. I could use that, but I'm thinking since it calls for a powder, I'm gonna use the brown sugar stuff that I have. It calls for a tablespoon. And I'm gonna use the brown sugar stuff because that's what I have. I don't really like to use this stuff a whole lot, but you know, it is a treat. It's not for everyday consumption or the nutritional part of it. It's so that I can take a little lunch treat with me. Okay, calls for a teaspoon of coconut flour, which I think is an odd amount, but I have made these before and they're fabulous. So I'm gonna go by the, the directions. Uh, this is some homemade vanilla that I make. And I don't really measure my vanilla cause I love vanilla. And then it calls for a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna eyeball uh, roughly a quarter of a teaspoon. It might be closer to a third. It'll be fine. And then I'm going to whisk this all together. And I'm making a fabulous mess. I've put chocolate chips in here before too, and really what ends up happening is they just burn on my waffle maker and I eh, it's fine just like this I think if I really want more chocolate I could always melt some and dip it or drizzle it on but this is really plenty for me I love the peanut butter in it oh, the peanut butter is like my favorite I love peanut butter don't I, I don't know why I did not like it when I was young now I can't get enough of it and this is about enough for two of the dash waffle iron so I'm going to split half of it on this one and I think I want to spray it because I almost got that chosen foods avocado spray and I'm like it was 11 something for two and it was six dollars for one for two of these and the avocado chosen foods was like quite a bit smaller I'm not one to use a lot of canola oil or any of that kind of stuff but really I'm spraying it on I'm not consuming it in quantities. I, I just, I can't see spending that much money. Anyway, so I'm going to pour some of this on there. Pour some of this on here. Set my timer for, I'm going to go four minutes. Oops, I forgot the heavy cream in there. <laughs> I forgot to put heavy cream in it, guys. But that's okay, I still need some from here. Okay, so in here I'm gonna use three tablespoons of peanut butter, 
I'm going to just use some of the stevia drops and um, I'm not, I'm not worried about it being exact because this is runny enough. It'll just do what it needs to do too. And I really, I love peanut butter if I make too much. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> um, I need two tablespoons of heavy cream. I'm gonna add some of my stevia drops. Gotta be careful with this. This does definitely have a flavor to it. Um, so I know a full dropper is almost too much. I don't often do the full dropper. But you need to have a little bit of sweetness. Adam's doesn't have any sweetener in it. And um, you know, cream doesn't either, so. That is your only source of sweet. I love this stuff. The smell is just, I wish you could smell. I know that doesn't look real pretty, but oh my goodness, it tastes so good. And right now they're still kind of soft and pliable. When they cool, they should get just a little bit crispier. And I'm gonna wait for these to cool completely before I spread my uh, peanut butter on it. Okay, so from our garden, I've got some, I've got some okra from my garden, and I've got these ground cherries. So I think I'm gonna take some of these to work with me to munch on. They're very well done, ready to be eaten. So I will just take that in my baggie. I probably have more okra I could probably go pick right now, but that's good for tomorrow. Try to eat all the stuff from the garden. Um, I really want to process tomatoes, so I'm hoping that I'll go out there tonight or tomorrow and get a lot of tomatoes that I can process. Um, these are some peaches from somebody else's tree. Zucchini, I have so much zucchini right now and they're ginormous. I kind of want to do a video on that. After I test out, I dehydrated some, powdered it, and I'm gonna try making a truffle with it. So that's in the testing works. So these have cooled off. I'm going to take my peanut butter. And it's a lot. And I'm okay with that because that's what makes this so dang yummy. The truffle itself, it's okay. It's not anything, it's kind of like when you eat an Oreo, the, the chocolate of the Oreo is okay, but it's not like the best chocolate ever. But when you put it with the cream filling, it's like deliciousness. I love Oreos. Um, okay, so there is my peanut butter chaffle. I'm gonna let this sit out just a little bit longer, crisp up just a little bit, and then I will put it in one of these bags, and that will be my lunch. I'll have my wrap, I'll have my veggies from the garden, snack veggies from the garden, and my peanut butter chocolate chuffle. So I will see you tomorrow, and I think that will be the fifth, the fourth of the fifth. I am so lost on my days. Um, yeah, so I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so today, yesterday I did that barbecue chicken wrap, and that was really good, um, but it was kind of dry, and it was just kind of missing stuff for me. I kind of like a little bit more oomph to mine. So I have some of that buffalo sauce that I made to mix chicken in, and I'm going to try some of that spread on a spinach wrap. So I'm going to take some of this buffalo cream cheese. It's got cream cheese, buffalo sauce. I don't even remember everything that's in it, but it's kind of yummy. And then I'm going to add a little bit more cheese. Have you ever had enough cheese? I know, I know. It's probably too much cheese. But I love it. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some spinach. So I'm going to throw some spinach. And then I'm gonna put some of this chicken that I still have left over from yesterday. It's got the, that Hawaiian, paleo Hawaiian barbecue sauce all over it, which is delicious. I love that stuff. I think it's my new favorite flavor. <laughs> oh, look at there, I did it. I put that, I 
really trying hard to use less of the single-use plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. I'm going to wrap it. Okay, so um, besides my wrap, I'm going to do some, just some celery sticks with some peanut butter, which I love celery. I don't, it's one of those love-hate things. Like, I don't really love to eat celery, but I know it's really good for, um, that is not a good piece of celery. It's good for you. It's got lots of lots of good benefits in it. And I love peanut butter, so it's really just a vessel for my peanut butter. Okay, I'm gonna, another bag. I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I'm gonna grab some of my peanut butter. So for my lunch tomorrow, I am going to have the wrap and some celery sticks with peanut butter and that should be good. I do have nuts there if I get hungry. Um, and I have, oh, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take one of these because they're kind of fun. So that will be my lunch for tomorrow. And I wanna say, this is day four or day five. I will have to go back and double check which day I'm on. And we'll see you next time. My lunch tomorrow. I have some wraps that I made. So I cut up the turkey meat and I put in some of this organic Hawaiian style barbecue sauce, which I really like this stuff. And then I had some tomatoes. We just processed a bunch of tomatoes. And so I had a bunch of tomatoes left over and I just mixed that up with the turkey meat. I put some lettuce, some cheddar cheese, and some of this turkey meat with the tomatoes in it, and then wrapped it up in a low carb wrap. So that will be my main course tomorrow. To go along with this, this is a cantaloupe from our garden. And I'm gonna show you how I um, how I cut up our cantaloupe. It, it's kind of a, I watched so many people do this the hard way. So I'm gonna show you how I do it a little bit easier. I start by cutting off the ends. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna cut it in half. So I've got my ends on both sides and then I cut it down the middle. Okay. So I'm going to scoop out the seeds. Normally we grow ambrosia cantaloupe. And the reason is because you don't get that big of a seed hole. It's like mostly cantaloupe and it's amazing. Best tasting cantaloupe I've ever had. Okay. Once you have these, once you have these emptied out, turn it back around, turn it back around, face down, and you're gonna take your knife blade and you're just gonna start cutting all of this peel off. And I like to get all the green off. So at this point, you have a couple of different ways. You can go this way and then this way, or like I, I like to do them just a little bit smaller, so I will come across this way. Be careful, because you don't want to cut your fingers, and it is slippery. And then I'm gonna take about one and a half inches or so and go across it. And then, back this way I'm not um, don't sure I'm not sure I understand trying to get it off of a wedge of peeling I know I used to do it that way when I didn't know any better mm. this is not low carb but it is high in potassium and high in some other things I want to say potassium I could be wrong it could be the other like magnesium or something 
See that one? I like to cut all that green off. I don't know if you can see the green. But it's still delicious. And that is how I cut my cantaloupe. So I have my wraps for tomorrow and I have my cantaloupe. And I'm bringing a little bit of extra food just in case I have to be there for 10 to 12 hours again, which I've been doing that a lot lately. So that'll be my lunch for tomorrow. That'll go to the chickens and this I will finish cutting up and I will put it in a bowl for somebody to eat tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow to show you day five. When I have super wet things, I keep them in the single use because I don't want to try to clean that off. I'm not there yet. But these are ham, cheese, spinach, egg whites that I made in my Instant Pot and the little mold thingies. Love these things. So I'm going to take some of these with me. In here, I have um, leftovers from Panda last night. We had Panda and I usually just get the side of veggies. And then I got teriyaki chicken and the mushroom zucchini chicken. Anyway, so that's my leftovers from dinner last night. That's going to lunch with me. Um, I like to have a veggie. So in here I'm going to put my celery sticks. I kind of want to put those. They're kind of wet. Let me dry that out. So I think I'm going to roll these up. Because I don't really want them super wet. I know it helps keep them longer, but... They're only good. they're gonna get eaten today. So I'm gonna roll these up, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to put the cheese in here also, and I'm gonna do the cheese small enough. Like I'm gonna do strips, so that I can put them inside the um, celery stick. I make my lunches at night, the night before usually, and last night I was so tired and I knew I had my main course settled with leftovers from dinner last night because let me tell you, I did not have time to cook. And um, so that'll be good for that. And then I'm just gonna stick these in here with this. And that way my cheese doesn't get soggy. There is something wrong with my package right here, and I just praised it. What happened? So I know that my mom, who does a lot of our dishes, she turned these inside out, and I wonder if it bent the... Well, it's there, so... It holds things really good. Doesn't come apart like the silicone bags. I mean, I believe this is a, a thinner silicone. It feels kind of silicone-y. But there is my snack. So I have a breakfast, I have a snack, and I have a main course. And I'm, I'm going to try not to be there till 7 tonight. It is Friday. And I think as soon as I'm done posting, I'm going to... Um, leave. Okay. Favorite things in the mornings. I love Zip Fizz. Love it. And this is my favorite flavor. It's the peach mango. And I really like the peach mango with their coconut. Is it a, I don't know if it's a, um, what is that coconut and pineapple? Pina colada. I don't know if it's a pina colada flavor or what, but you mix half of this with half of that coconut pina colada. Ooh, it's yummy. Anyway, I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to do the peach mango. That will go with me. And my water bottle with ice water in it will go with me. And then I'm going to throw some ice. I've got these ice balls that came with this. And then I will set it in my bag and take that to work. And... So that is day five of my first week. Um, I just want to say thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm 
I enjoy doing them and I like to see other people's videos about this kind of stuff. So um, thank you for joining me on this adventure of the Fork of the Loaf.